Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny Test Info. Today I come up with the topic Laboratory Fume Hood Safety. In this presentation, we discuss about what is a fume hood, what are the do's and don'ts with fume hood while using, the key components of fume hoods and how to inspect fume hoods. First of all, introduction. Hoods functions as local adjust ventilation that protects personnel from exposure to chemicals being handled in the laboratories. Why do we use fume hood? Inhalation is the major route of entry of chemicals into the body. Chemical fumes and vapors can directly enter our bloodstream through this way. A properly designed and operated fume hood reduces the exposure to hazardous fumes, vapors, gases and dusts. A fume hood confines hazardous airborne material by diluting it with a large amount of air, drying it through an exhaust system and then expelling the air in vents. Remember, fume hoods do not prevent accidents or chemical splashes. Hood users must be trained in proper operation and use of laboratory fume hoods. Proper use of fume hood sash can also shield the person from uncontrolled reactions. Next, what are the do's with the fume hoods? All operations that may generate hazardous air contaminants must be done inside a laboratory fume hood. Check that the fume hood is operating correctly before you start up the work. Use appropriate barricades in front of hood if there is a chance of explosion or eruption. While working inside the hood, keep the hood sash closed as much as possible. Caps on the bottles of chemicals being used in fume hood should be tightly closed when not in use. Place any bulky equipment towards rear of the hood and raise it above 1 inch above the working surface with blocks to allow airflow under and around the equipment. Place all bulky equipment away from the side walls to allow airflow around the equipment. Use the sash as a safety shield when boiling materials or conducting an experiment with reactive chemicals. Always keep sash as low as possible. As the sash is lifted, flow is increased so that the phase velocity of the air over a given cross section of the sash opening is constant. Connect all electrical devices outside of the hood to avoid sparks which may ignite the flammable or explosive chemicals. When the fume hood is not in use, ensure that all materials are in sealed containers. Completely close the hood sash or panels at the end of the day. Safety glasses, lab coats and appropriate gloves must be worn when working in, on or around the fume hoods. These are the do's with fume hoods. Next, don'ts. Don't place your face or head inside the hood. Keep hands out as much as possible. Do not use the hood for storage of equipment, containers or chemicals which are not going to be used during the day. Do not use hoods as a waste disposal mechanism of volatile materials. Do not attempt override or disable hood face velocity monitors or alarms. Do not place any heat generating equipment in the rear of the hood. Heating devices in the hood produce convention currents that can disrupt airflow. Do not place electrical receptacles or other spark source inside the hood when flammable liquids or gases are present. No permanent electrical receptacles are permitted in the hood. Do not place objects or equipment in front of the hood which can interfere with airflow pattern into the hood reducing its effectiveness. Do not remove hood sash or panels except when necessary for apparatus setup or removal. Do not use fume hood as a storage area. They should contain only working volumes of chemicals. Don't use fume hoods to vent or dispose of hazardous materials through air dilution. Don't place equipment, material 
or chemicals in the hood which blocks the slots or otherwise interfere with smooth hood airflow don't place power boards or other spark producing sources inside the hood these are the don'ts with fume hoods next one the key components of fume hoods baffles located at the rear of the hood they direct air in appropriate direction work surface generally a laboratory bench top or the floor in the case of a floor mounted hood this is the area where work is conducted air foil a foil is positioned at the front edge of the hood and is designed to direct air into the hood to allow for less turbulence and more efficient containment of chemicals lighting equipment to provide proper illumination to work inside the fume hood exhaust duct the duct connects the fume hood to exhaust system and acts as the pathway for chemicals travel towards the outside air sash the glass window that opens and closes either vertically horizontally or a combination of both the sash protects the uzo base cabinet storage cabinet to store chemicals located at the bottom of the fume hood these are the key components of fume hood next one how to inspect the fume hood inspect the sash mechanism for corrosion or damage including sash and cables check the condition of the work surface baffles inspect the fans motors drives and bearings for correct operation or wear check the condition of the general illumination indicator lights and associated switches test the controls of the services to the fume hood for proper operation example water gas air vacuum etc inspect the sink drain for corrosion leakage and blockage check the stability and condition of the discharge stack inspect the condition of the exhaust ducting particularly integrity of the joints measure phase velocity and compare to the fume hood specification and correct if needed and verify calibration of the airflow alarm this is about the laboratory fume hoods